surprising that Marsara won. I would not have thought. I thought NGF was gonna win the whole thing. They got swept. They they did get swept. Let's see if oh. another top seed will get swept in the Caldir Yetis as they're down 1-0 and they're now playing Peter. Yeah, I had them losing this series though. I wouldn't be too surprised. I, I, a little bit of bias, but I want the Yetis to win because I don't want a Banjo Baller to have a crown or another ring. It's, uh, it's, does Lightning even count as a Marsara player anymore though? I, I don't know. Squirtle, Squirtle was pretty impressive. Yeah, actually, did he play well? Yeah, he got, he scored the game-winning goal in one of his games because no one was on him because every, they, yeah. they they triple-teamed Ling, and Ling still got past them, just past the Squirtle, and Squirtle just scored. It was fun. That's what he does. Crucial. <laughs> ah. So, Quaxer will take this up. They already have, like, a third of the amount of shots that they had of last game. Did they only have three? Uh, I think they had eight by the end, but it started... Uh, they had like three shots within the first two periods, so... You know... That was a pretty slow slow one last game. Yep. It'll speed up less. That usually doesn't happen, but... You know. Well, you know, a little bit more prone to error since no one in this lobby is west except for Arts and Peter, so it might speed up if there is a little bit of mistakes. Rush, just all by himself, gets its tanks. Tanks immediately clicked. And a three on two? Nope, uh, Eric's going to peel back. Quokster behind his opponent's net. We'll try and take it up. Still can't click through anyone. And just gives it to Art. Peter, gonna boost forward for it. Quokster now back. Probably had Eric for a second, didn't trust himself with that past, and now Tank's just going to dribble it to Leprechaun. What a play. Yeah. That was some horrible defense by Peter, but the West dribbling. I mean, if you, if you did look at Light's post at the beginning of the game, or beginning of the season, you know, oh, whenever... Sir, sir's great post, that post. You mean the meme post? That yeah, post? the meme post. Was that Sir? I thought it was yeah. Lightning. No, nah, Sir. Okay, yeah, just every time Peter's on West, he's just gonna say MB, MB, MB. Yeah. Yeah. And that was it's the best post ever made in Zelda hockey. And uh, sadly, it's wrong because the Flyers didn't win. Oh, did they? Oh, well, yeah. To do with that. He said that they were gonna be the champions, oh, so. Oh, Yoda. Yeah, something. yeah. And Yoda didn't do it. <laughs> what a snipe. What a snipe. That's Peter's snipe. That half court. Season two, that would have went in. Uh, Tank's going to try and do something. Nobody's really able to do anything, probably because of the West Bang. And the person who could do anything is taking mid court snipes. <laughs> Art's spinning around. Uh, hits it off the post. Oh, God. Uh, Leprechaun just boosting out of the way for some reason. Art's a streaky player. If he gets a goal, he's gonna like buy more real quick. We'll see. It's 1 0. This is the score of the last game, so we're in for the long haul. Art's gonna try and double that lead, unable to do so. Quokster gets clicked by Art. Peter. Peter with great lead. And then that. Tanks with. What a YOLO. That, that's the type of aggressiveness that's. Signature of a tiger. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see the Eddies winning this after they lost on East with Pure. You know, Rush is a terrible goalie. So. Lipcon's probably worse than Rush. Yeah. Position. All, the, all of the Yeti goalies are worse than Rush. Well, Chef had um, probably better positioning than Rush. But Rush, you know, he's putting in some work right now. Uh, with all these mid-court snipes, I'm surprised he's able to stop all of them. And Mythic. Steel. Mythic with a great steal. Two zero. It is 2-0. Doubled the score of the last game with Rush taking the crown. 
That's how you know nobody on Tarsonis is doing anything. Nobody's passing on that team. Nope. It's a, it's surprising that they're winning. They're only winning because of a YOLO boost and a defensive mistake. But winning nonetheless. Uh, Eric and... Eric's got four seconds possession time. I don't think that's their win condition. Probably want him to have the puck a little bit more, even if it is West. Probably either the best player this season or the second best player. Pretty good. Oh, uh, everybody muting my cast, of course. Truth hurts. Quackster versus Tanks on the faceoff. Quackster almost uncontested for it, but Tanks getting the forward progression. Peter going forward. Mythic able to capture an intercepted pass. Art now spinning around, seeing if he could double his goal scoring number thing. <laughs> Peter passing it to Eric. Eric getting it off the bounce. Eric tried to pass it to Peter, and I'm guessing Peter would have passed it to Quackster, but the one-timer glitz prevents that. Peter and Tanks. Peter able to steal it. Peter now going forward and almost hitting a full court snipe. Uh, that I wish that went in. That would have made the series way more entertaining. Leprechaun able to save a click-through goal. Click through shot. Rush coming out of net. Passing it almost straight to Quackster. Quackster. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Rush what helping Quackster. Shield. It bounces off the post. Then Rush shields it. I don't know why Rush sh shielded there. So, so late. He has the reaction to. Oh, uh, never mind. What? That was interesting. I mean. I'm going to say, I think, if the Yetis come back, I think that's probably one of the defining moments. I think that might spark something right now. We're only halfway through this game. They only need a goal to tie it. Rush, your reactions are as bad as biz. Oh, man. Uh, you know that's bad when lightning comes out. Rush, with a great save there, though. Um, just pressing the shield button, you know. Nothing too fancy. I mean, Eric had nothing cut off his own angles. Mythic passing it up to Art. Art passing it to Tanks. Tanks with an opening, but Eric able to click it away. Peter now going the other way. Has Quackster. Peels back, so no lane for him to shoot or pass. Eric getting forward. Eric almost with a great, great goal. Kind of misses it, though. Tanks now has Art, oh, shit. takes the shot himself. Shot. Great shot indeed, and if Leprechaun pulled a rush, it would have went in. <laughs> Peter, peeling back, probably going to pass it to Quackster. Or get yellowed, decides to get yellowed instead. Quackster with the yellow of his own, sort of. I probably saved a goal in making that steal. Mythic, able. To, you know, just play great defense, clicking it away from the Yetis. Art now has tanks up. Peter with some terrible defense. Let's it straight in. My bad, Lol. My bad, Lol. I wish he would say those in all chat. It would make... Oh, okay, you could do that. <laughs> Come on, this is playoffs. Cut it out. <laughs> Peter. I had to do it once. Peter tries for a snipe attempt. Quackster almost gets past Mythic, but Mythic with another great click. Tanks almost with another opportunity. Alright, with a great opportunity. Takes a shot on Leprechaun. Not strong enough to get past him, though. Quackster now has Eric. Eric unable to receive the pass as Rush captures it up. Rush, now just giving it to Peter. <laughs> Peter giving it to Tanks. Tanks. Tanks wasn't ready for that. Gary, Gary, Eric. 
And Tank's clicking it back. Peter with the YOLO. Uh, kind of passes it back. Quokster passing it to Peter. Peter giving it to Eric. Eric. And Mythic able to clear it out to the boards. And that'll end the second period. I believe that period ended 1-1. So, you know... Not too much change. Was the second goal for Tarsona City scored in the first period? Yeah. Yeah, so that period ended 1-1. You know, a draw for Yetis, I think, I think that shows vulnerability. That if this goes to, like, a game four or a game five, they could come back on East, rebound. I think the series is nowhere near over. I think Rush definitely has choking ability. Tanks definitely has choking ability. Mythic, I think, is their most solid player, so I don't think he'll choke. Uh, well, Brutal. Art won last season. What? Art won last season. Art's god. I didn't talk about Art yet. I said Mythic. Yeah, but Art's the most reliable. Okay. Oh, god. I, I think I'd agree to that. But he's not going to play on East, and Game Five's going to be on East if we make it all the way. That's a sweep. You think a sweep so far? Nah. I think they'll win the next game on East with a girl. But then they'll win on, I mean, lose on West again. They might even win right now. I mean, oh. look at Eric. I mean, when I let in that shot, it was my fault. <laughs> I, I think he could have saved it. It wasn't that hard. He could have done it. But Rush is too busy probably talking in Twitch chat. <laughs> I mean, I remember Water Mowing doing that to me, and I, that's definitely a tricky shot. But when I let that in, Rush says it's my fault, so that's Rush's fault. Peter, trying to replicate it. That would have went in if he aimed it. Uh, Peter! Oh my god! Peter ties it. I told you Rush had choking potential. I mean, playing Season 8 with him, you know. He choked versus Peter in the semifinals. He, they pushed it to a Game 5. So I wouldn't be surprised if he choked versus Peter again and this time lost because he's terrible at goalie. Great save there, though. Well, if, if whoever wins this game, I have winning. I think. Maybe, I don't know. But game five for Yetis would still be really hard. Yeah, especially since they won't have Gur. But at this yeah. rate, they might Gur might be a handicap. You know, Mythic and Tanks, both East players. I think Mythic's East. Uh, West. Oh yeah, Mythic is West. Quokster trying to pull an Eric, except a little bit closer. Hits the post, though. Mythic often. What oh, a save a by Leprechaun! Man, yeah. Shield. You know, you can leave those big gaps if you shield in time. Nope. Rush doesn't know that, he just blames me and mechanics and gets out of defensive position, but whatever. Uh, Peter, now at the puck, tries to pass it to Quokster, tanks intercepts. Eric, now uh, clicking it to his own boards. Peter going up. Has Quokster on the bottom boards, but no passing lane for him, so Mythic will intercept. Eric will just hit it to his own boards. Wave hi to him. He's right by us. Peter almost gets the snipe off, misses, and almost tries for the BM goal. I think Crush, everything I know about him, means that he's shaking in his boots right now. You know, probably a little bit on edge. He gets tilted really quickly. And just goes into troll mode. So, if they lose this game, I think they lose the series. I think I agree with you with that. I think you said that. You might have said that. I walked it back a little bit. I think if Tarsona City can't win on West, I don't see much hope for them. Yeah, but you can say that about losing with Gurr on East, too. Well, I mean... But I think they're a good enough team that they could bounce back. I don't think Tarsona Cities is a good enough team to bounce back, and I think that's a big, big difference. You know, Eric Quokster and Peter definitely have a little bit more mental fortitude than Tanks and Rush. I, I will agree. I think Tanks might 
tilt at Rush after this game because of those snipes. I think, you know, no, playing with tanks for a couple seasons, I think if they win, I think tanks has a strong enough personality to w look the other way. But if they lose, it's probably over. And we'll see. 30 seconds left till overtime. And as you know, playoffs are unlimited overtime. So, we're playing until we get a goal. And it took... The first game was 1-0, so... Tank's trying for the yellow with 14 seconds left, you know. Trying to replicate that second goal. Uh oh That's like too good. I think that's one good thing about tanks is that, like a tiger, he definitely can strike. Nice. I made that joke when he had that goal the first time, so. <laughs> oh man, Art's e elo is very high. Art's got a good elo. 10,000. It's pretty impressive. Mystic's 8,000. These look legit. Definitely. Boxster with the crown, 36 picks ups, 1 assist. Tanks with the most goals, though. As we head into overtime, I don't know who's going to win, but whoever loses is going to be salty, and it's going to be amazing. I think it's interesting. Tanks is 6 for 21 on West. I think Art would be the one getting a lot of the passes and trying to score. I didn't even realize Tanks was getting fed this hard. You know, I'm, I'm not surprised. He's still a good offensive and still, still a good offense and still a good clicker. No matter what, so I I'm not surprised. But we'll see how that plays as Peter almost gets a game winner right off the bat. That would have been interesting. Nope. I think that shield looked weird. Like bounce from them. It does I that when it does that when it's very close up or very at the edge of the shield. Eric almost has breakaway. Mythic able to click it away. Rush. Passes it to Art. Art. Gets the inside lane. But unable to do anything with it. Since Leprechaun was there. Quokster. With a little bit of a breakaway. Tanks kind of giving him too much space. But Mythic was back there. And Art. Has open rain. And Leprechaun with a great Great's save. Great, great save, you know. Don't know where Art was going to shoot. Followed the puck and made a great save. Rush wouldn't have been able to do that. Eric now going the other way. Has Peter. If Peter would have went center, they might have had a chance to score. But puck chase, am I right? Quokster will try and pressure Art and will get the puck. Quokster spinning. Mythic going down and passes it up to Art. Eric will just walk past Art. You know, that's this is why I think that it doesn't matter because, you know, Art's the West player here and, you know, Eric can do stuff like that, just walk right past him. I was hoping that went in, just somehow. <laughs> Tanks now going up. Spinning. Passes it to Mythic, you know, buddy check, you know. I don't know how much gym basketball you play, but, you know, you always check the ball. That That's what they did right there. Play some basketball. Alright, now going back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our uh, leprechaun passing it up to Eric. Eric gets it off the bounce. Peter, you know, he doesn't want to be a liability on defense, so he's just cherry picking yeah. at this point. <laughs> I think that's a good plan. Uh, that is like a great plan, especially with the snipes. And that's, that and that's the game. Rush leaving very, very quickly. But I don't think the Yetis are down and out. You know, I think even though Rush won, I think he's still probably a little bit tilted in the back of his mind. Is, is Peter locked? I do not believe so. Okay. Yeah. I, I would be curious what they would have to run on game five if Peter and Gurr are both locked. That'd be. I think they. I think I'd actually talk to someone. I think Peter is locked. I think they have to run like Shaftman as a skater, game five. Oh, well, they have. Um, if they make it to game five, they have home field advantage. Yeah. So, I think they would host Central and 
you know, who's going to win? Anybody will know at that point. But we're still two games away from that. And the Eddies have their back against the wall. So, and they're going to have to push for that. Okay, Lightning, you stupid cunt.